Welcome to the Bantha tail end of space, otherwise known as Tatooine. Hope you enjoy heat, Captain. It's the closest you'll get to landing on a sun, unless you're really unlucky. If it's that hot here, maybe we should peel off a few layers. I sunburn easily, but knock yourself out. We're here because of a crime lord named Diago Hickson, the closest thing Noctrain ever had to a rival. Diago was always trying to one-up Noc. They fought for territory, bragging rights, and the occasional woman. The battles were legendary. Maybe it was Diago who killed Noc. No. He never came close to beating Noc in a fight, fair or otherwise. Diago celebrated Noc's death by raiding one of his storehouses, stole an advanced Gree sensor computer, priceless technology. To find Noc Drayan's fortune, we need to pry that sensor computer out of Diago's sticky fingers. That could be trouble. I haven't even gotten to the trouble yet. No one's seen Diago in years. He only communicates through his lieutenants. One of those lieutenants, a Nicto named Two Creek, promised to help. You need to meet him. He must want something in exchange for helping us. Two Creek wants fame. I promised I'd tell everyone he helped find Noctrain's riches. If you run into Diago, watch your back. He makes Skavik look like a Jedi Padawan. Does my favorite starship thief know about this deal? Some things I kept from Skavik, just in case. This is one of them. Two Creek owns a club in the desert outside Anchorhead. He's expecting you. Good luck, Captain. Ah, Reach's business partner, here at last. Impressive. I'm honored she felt the need to make a show of strength. She must think very highly of me. If you smell anything else, let me know. I'm sorry to say this, but you've come at a bad time to do business. Things are... tense. What's wrong? You got problems with the local lawmen? It's much worse than that. Hey, pretty face! You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. I'm only a weary traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend, got it? Leave the girl alone if you know what's good for you. Mind your own business, human trash! You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. Men! Let's show pretty face what we do with people who annoy me. If you want to pick a fight, why not pick me? <clears throat> you got a big mouth. I'm gonna enjoy shutting it. Men! Kill them both! I wish this hadn't ended in violence, but it was brave of you to intervene. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a beautiful woman. You acted based on your perception of my physical appearance? That makes no sense. My name is Nariel Prydance. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for Vavarone Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? I've met a lot of agents of evil, but nobody by that name. Zare is a being of vast darkness and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll find the Zare before sundown. That's kind, but I can't place you in harm's way. I sense you're destined for greater things than consorting with common criminals. I must continue my search for Vavarone Zare. May the Force be with you. I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. You see this expression on my face? It's called apathy. I'm not interested. You should be. It affects your business, too. Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week, they took over our spice warehouse. Killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. I'm sure a clever boy like you has lots of friends. That's beside the point. The Geonosians have what we need. Diago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon, gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago, and you helped kill the men I was sending to get it. 
I'll get you the fang, and you'll get me that sensor computer. My deceased associate kept the fang at the spice warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, Captain, we've got something here. Is that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? This crate dragon tooth is the key to Diago's heart. Didn't you know? You're funny. I suppose I can work with that. My name is Vavarone Zer. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. Knock yourself out. The man is notoriously hard to reach. That's why I'm allowing you to speak with me. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Maybe Diago sent me here to kill you. You're adorable, but I'm not here to fight. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? People don't go to war over empty boxes. The contents are irrelevant. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. And don't deny that you desire me. I'm the closest you'll ever get to perfection. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I'd rather drink a hut's bathwater. How revolting. That was fun, but unnecessary. Now run along and reconsider my offer. Until we meet again. You ever get the feeling we're in over our heads? That's what makes this job so much fun. You've got an interesting idea of fun. Ah, the Crate Dragon Fang. And in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? For a being of pure evil, she was surprisingly forthcoming. Typical Sith. Start negotiations by blasting everything in sight. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the Fang, he'll let us into... Go! Oh! What now? Kukri, the palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! <laughs> Diago will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. Kill the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. You gonna leave me to clean this up? I'm not abandoning you. I just don't want to die. Good luck. See you at the Light Spring. Hello again. I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement. So I sent some friends to jog your memory. I just shot a few of your pals. Hope you don't mind. They weren't that good friends. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. I'm through with you. Get lost. How can you reject me? Your brain must be diseased or something. I'm afraid I have no choice but to order my soldiers to kill you. There's just no reasoning with some people. I saw the Imperial Commandos. Are you injured? It'll take more than the Empire's finest to finish me off. Bravado makes poor armor. You're fortunate to be alive. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? You following me, Jedi? I heard about this palace back at the club. I came hoping to find Bavarone Zare, but it seems I've just missed her. I don't suppose you'd know anything about my enemy's present whereabouts. The crime lord she's after is at a cavern in the desert. It's called the Light Spring. 
Zayr may already know about that place. There's no time to lose. Stay here. When I confront Zayr, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. May the Force be with us both. Farewell. Now another joins the Jedi to irritate me like sand flies. Is this how you serve, Two Greek? Inept. The Captain and I have business. We have nothing to do with this Jedi. The Light Spring is a real dump. So is Diago, for that matter. It pains me to see such ugliness spoiling natural wonder. You Jedi are so tedious, sensitive to every little thing. Hello again. Forcing me to follow you through that blazing desert. Not your best move. I hope you got blisters all over your pale, sithy feet. I'm feeling especially unsympathetic toward you. Surrender is your only option, Zare. You can't win. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, haven't heard from you in a while. Everything all right? I've got a Jedi and a Sith fighting over me, but I only have eyes for you. Nothing you say makes any sense. Poor Nariel. She's never been kissed. Such a professional. Who could resist? Oh, beautiful girl. So beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? I want to see her again. Now! She, uh, doesn't seem to be answering her hollow. Then bring her to me. She is mine. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine! Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. You want to draw your weapon. You want to kill the Jedi. I want to laugh at how silly you are. Strong-minded, hmm? You're no use to me. Forgive me, dear Diago, but I really must kill these two before we continue. No more! I find a beautiful girl myself! Droids! Kill everyone! But I didn't do anything! Everyone! Not many can claim they battled a Sith and lived. You're in rare company. You took some hits. Any of them leave a mark? My injuries will heal soon enough. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the Force we stopped her. This is a Sith holocron. It was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. You're not going to go all Sithy just by holding it, are you? It doesn't quite work like that. But your concern is duly noted. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. We've saved countless lives today. Let's do it again sometime. If you were a little more serious-minded, you'd make a fine Jedi. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. Not Drayan, not Drayan, that's all I hear. What was it like to fight not Drayan? Oh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this hollow recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Not Drayan was never a true gangster, not like me. He just pretended. People think I fought him because he was more successful, because he made me number two, because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nock was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. He was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure. He never came. 
I'm still alive and he's not. I won. You hear that knock? I won. Wasn't sure I'd see you alive again, much less with that sensor computer. How did you get it? Diago Hickson passed away unexpectedly, left me a generous inheritance. He's dead? Good. I mean, for your reputation. Sorry I didn't get a chance to chat with him before he died. My hollow malfunctioned. Really? You had technical difficulties? Happens all the time. The suns here play havoc with comm frequencies. With that sensor computer installed, this freighter will be a first-rate scout vessel. I'll patch it into the ship's Rectenna before takeoff. You should notice a difference right away. What exactly will that gizmo do for us? Let's just say people will have a hard time sneaking up on us in space. Let's leave this sandball in our rear thrusters, Captain. Noctrayan's fortune is out there waiting for us.